right, so to summarize types and variables. First, we don't need to declare a variable type when you're declaring a variable. All you need to do is to use the var keyword and then give it a name and uh, JavaScript knows that it's a variable. It's gonna allocate space for that variable. The variable name, the same variable can be assigned values of different types and we saw that. You could take a string and uh, assign it to, um, you know, to a variable which is formally holding a number. You can take uh, undefined and assign it to a variable that was holding a boolean, for instance. There is no scoping information in the variable declarations. What I mean by that is uh, if you, you know, compare it to things like a Java where you have a private int something or a public int something, right? So they have scoping information which tie in with the class uh, model of Java. But in the case of JavaScript, scopes are actually inferred from something else, and I'm gonna talk about that in a later unit. But remember, there's no scoping information anywhere. You just say var, and then you give it the name of the variable. And uh, finally, variables and values can be interrogated. Let me explain what I mean by that. 